report on practice today? What did you think? Um, it's good, just, you know, spring ball. So, you know, every day there's, there's some good and bad every day. Um, sometimes we're trying new things. Sometimes we're, just, you know, uh, putting our guys through different situations. And so, good and bad. Speaking, speaking of trying new things, I, I'm curious after two weeks, do you have any better understanding of how you're going to use some of the different weapons, especially in the full, full back room with guys like Houston and new guys like that? Yeah, I do, but I'm not going to tell you about it. So <laughs> I'm just going to say they're all going to play. You see Cody Epps out there. What do you like yeah. about him? Cody Epps is uh, just a good all-around football player. He's got a great feel for the game. You can tell he comes from a... You know, he, he's a really polished kid the day he got here, and he gets better every day, gets open. Um, just has a good feel for space on the field, when to, uh, I don't know, just when to motor down and be open for the quarterback. He's a really easy guy to throw to, and um, just a good all-around player. He's got a really bright future. Been here a long time. Has he picked up things uh, now that he's on the field? Yeah, he he learned the offense fast as anybody I've ever seen. His freshman year, he was ready to play game one. He's a very squared away guy. Yep. What's it like watching the you know the thud level of physicality? Because you heard some of the you know some of the yeah. guys were saying that sometimes those thuds are a little more physical. <laughs> What's it like watching the yeah. boys? You know, in that in that kind of trying to find that balance. It's fun to bang around a little bit. You know you. As an offense, you always wish they had to tackle you because the whistle gets blown, and in real games, most of those plays go for a few more yards than they than they do in practice. And so, um, but then if you tackled all the time, you'd get a lot of guys hurt. So we have to be smart about that, and we try to find the right balance. But I thought the level of contact today was just right. You know, we were we were banging a little bit, but everybody was staying on their feet. I didn't see any piles. Um, I think we're. We're, you know, we're learning how to practice against each other. Just speaking of fun, what's your favorite part about spring ball being back out here again? Um, just I like the process, you know, of just starting with, you know, you've got raw material to work with, and then just that process of, you know, putting it all together and and uh, getting ready for that first game in the fall. But it's it's fun to see it evolve and, and see you know players grow and in their roles and uh, you know I. I think all coaches like that process. That's that's what it's about. Malik talked about the vibe of the team. He said he feels like the team feels like they should expect to be something special this year with the guys coming back and the success they've had and things like that. As coaches, do you pay much attention to kind of the overall vibes and things like that, or how sure. does that impact things? Sure. Yeah. I mean, that's part of our culture. We're trying to we're trying to play with a lot of confidence and at the same time have a you know a grounded sense of humility and understand that you know, things that have tripped us up in the past and try to improve on those things. But, you know, we also have know we have a good team and we can play with anybody. I know you've talked about the quarterbacks kind of a lot at this point, but have you seen Jacob have a little bit of a more, more mature uh, approach to this spring than he has in years past? Uh, he's always had a mature approach. It was just a matter, it's just it's just a matter of getting more opportunities to play. I mean, every, every single day, every rep counts for him and for all the quarterbacks. So he was mature in high school I mean, he's a very serious guy serious about being a good player and uh, and uh, so he, he prepares he works as hard as anyone he just needs time needs needs reps needs to keep developing hey, Rod, sorry to ask already but uh, down hold for second year back now from mission what's impressed you about him this spring uh, he's just uh, how do I put this he Dallin Holker knows what he's doing now. Doesn't have to think about it. it. Just he's just playing ball, you know. And I think last year, last year coming off of his mission, we probably put a little too much on his plate early in the year. He made some huge plays in the Utah game and the Arizona State game. But I think about mid-season, it kind of piled up on him. He was right off his mission, and we, we maybe gave him a little too much. Now this year, it's like. Physically and mentally, he's ready for it. He's just been home long enough now. It's he's he's one of our best players. You're going to see a lot of him this year. Any other questions? What do you need to see the next couple of weeks? Just keep getting better every day, and we need to keep uh, you know keep developing our quarterback depth, like figuring out you know how those guys rank.
Thanks, Coach. Okay. Thanks, Aaron. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it. Good to see you guys.